The mugshot was really hot. And this stuff lasts probably about two months. It stays really hot. But the first week that we, the mugshot came out, we sold like 2,000 t-shirts. What's that? <laughs> That's uh, Trump's balls. Okay. <laughs> Whitey Taylor runs a busy Trump store in Boone's Mill, a town of fewer than 500 people in southwestern Virginia. We visited a week after Christmas, with the Iowa caucuses just days away. Taylor predicted Trump would win the Republican nomination, and then business would really boom. Can only get these here. <laughs> How much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Customers were bullish too. What the superfans bought offers some insight into what they want politically. The merch is not just simple campaign slogans. It's defiant, even vulgar, aimed at buyers who enjoy being mad at the state of America and think there's one guy who will fix it. When Trump was indicted for all these different things, did people stop buying his merchandise? No, they bought it more. Why? Yeah. Because they knew it was like Russia collusion. This is all just all bull made up bull Now he has gained a lot of people because of this administration that we have now, yeah. You get we, people coming and saying Oh that? yeah, definitely, yeah. They'll just come in and say, never again will I be that stupid, you know. Hi, welcome to the Trump story. What have you observed about what people are looking for? People want our economy better. They're, they're very scared, I think, because of the way things are going. They feel like um, where we're at right now is not, is like stagnant. Were you interested in politics before Trump? Yes, and you know, it's strange, because I've always been Democrat. Really? <laughs> yes, so I yeah. am a firm yeah. believer in believing in a person and system that's gonna make positive changes. I think in the past, I made some quick judgments about my voting. And so I'm very more selective and it's more thought put into it. What's coming up right now? Who knows? The more the Democrats talk about uh, mega crazy people, then it, you know something will spin off of it. Within a 150 mile radius of here, anybody gets company in, they bring them here. Why'd you come in today? To get some uh, Trump stuff so I can advertise and you know support him. 06, 08, I like lost everything I had. Yeah. But I barely survived on I me. Mean, I don't know how I did. And this is leading up to the same thing again. It's coming, the dying fall is coming. And do you think Trump could pre prevent that? I think he can. <coughs> I think he can put the brakes on it and turn it around. I often wonder what encourages people to be a Democrat. Because I don't see a lot of kindness. I don't see a lot of help for our country. And I see a lot of talk, no action. He got into this business at the very beginning of Trump's takeover of the Republican Party. Taylor's a serial entrepreneur and intention seeker, and he prayed to God to guide him while selling racing merch at the Daytona 500. My son said, Dad, what's God telling you? I said, came in my spirit. He wants me to help Trump. I said, I'm going to order a 1,000 T-shirts. He said, Dad, but that's crazy. You know how crazy you get. Just get 100. I said, go big or go home, boy. I said, if God's telling me we'll sell everyone of them, not with them trash can to leave. All we had was a white t-shirt that said, uh, hire the vets, fire the idiots, Trump 2016 on the front, red, white, and blue. And on the back it said, finally someone with balls, Donald J. Trump, okay? And I became known as the balls man on the tour. Taylor opened the store in the fall of 2020 inside a hundred year old church. After the election, the big seller was stop the steal. Did you think the election was stolen? There's no doubt the election was stolen, yeah. And what did you think of January 6th? It was a bad thing, but if you look back, you actually look at the tapes and stuff, they were let in. Yeah. But they still should have never went inside, okay? You never go in somebody's house or a house, a public house like that, yeah. Does that complicate what you think of Trump at all, that he... No, why no. Not? Definitely not, because he, he definitely didn't tell him to go and storm the house. Would you have any interest in running this store if Trump weren't so controversial? I doubt it. I like his controversy. You know, we need something that we can laugh about and be happy about. There's liberals that think they can come in here and actually tell me what to do. The last one was a professor from UNC. She would just tell me what a great job Biden's doing. I tried to tell her to leave. But do you not appreciate, you know, her oh, coming in and wanting uh, to mix it up a little bit? You know? Oh, I love it, yeah, but she don't want to hear what I have to say. She wanted me to only hear what she had to say. You said that you want to rename this town Trump Town? Why not? The Boons are dead. The mill's gone. Let's change. Do you think other people will support you with that? Not really, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's good controversy if it never happens. Ellie Reeve, CNN, Boons Mill, Virginia.